Hi, it's me, Cynthia, the yarn aholic. Um, I don't know if I've shown you my braces yet. I got red, white, and blue for America. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby for their clearance. It was not spectacular by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> I don't know when they started marking everything, but this is what happened. I went there and there was not a lot on sale at all. So um, I am grateful for what I did get on sale. Uh, like this stuff uh, was, okay. A <laughs> dollar 12. So through thick and thin yarn bee. Uh, I got one, two of these, two. Two and that's it for that. And then I've been making dresses lately. I just finished an America dress. I have to. No, I okay. I finished the America dress that I was making. It's just red, white, and blue. It's not like um, it's hobby hobby yarn from hobby <laughs> in, in Denmark or wherever they are. Um, it is the Washington DC twirls nation, which is no longer available, but, um, I've been making dresses. So I use that and it says it's like a number one or two or three fine, whatever. But I find that it is the same thickness as the crochet number 30 thread, crochet thread. So, um, well, which is this, <laughs> like that. So Hobby Yarn, the Twirls Nation is exactly that thickness. And they're calling it a, they're calling it a, a two or three. So this is a 749, normally 1499. And I love this stuff so much. It is um, mercerized Egyptian cotton. It's a, oh, it's a number 10. Okay, see, I think I know everything and I don't. It's a number 10 crochet thread. And uh, yeah, Egyptian cotton. Can't get better than that. So it's 50% off. So I got one of those. Uh, same in black. Um same in red. <laughs> so two red. Did I get a second black? You know, I did not get a second black. And I think it is because it's because I have every time I go to the thrift store and I get a bag of yarn, um, random yarn all together. Uh, there is always, always a black crochet thread in there. Um, I have like a billion tons of it. So I think that is why, see, <laughs> like, it's all dirty and gross, but it's still, yeah. I have a billion tons of black. So I only got one black. Um, now this, uh, extra fine 30. Oh, this is going to be really super thin. This is like way thinner than that. So this is 500 yards. And how many is this? This is 2,730 yards. So this is 749 and this is a dollar 74. And it's way, way lighter, obviously. So it is calling for a 12 hook or a 0.75 millimeter. And it's just regular cotton. <laughs> I, I got, um, I think I got two of those. I'm not sure. We'll have to come back to that. Um, a dollar forty nine. Normally a dollar ninety nine. I got Christmas. Uh, Chris, well, Christmas variegated, and I can use the red. So I was thinking, like, do um, the Christmas top of the dress, like this, and then the flary bottom in red. That's what I was thinking. Not sure. Not not married to the idea yet. Um, all yarn that was not on clearance was 30% off. 
So this is normally $11.99, Crafter's Secret Big Idea. I got black, white, and orange for Halloween. Just regular standard colors that I normally get. I still have some up on my top shelf that I have yet to use, but let me tell you, I'm going on another self yarn ban. Um, okay, so this was normally $2.99. This was on sale for $1.49. And it is still the, oh, this is a number five. I was not paying attention. <gasps> a number five. So I think it's thicker than this. I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter. Because, um, yeah, I don't think it, I don't think it matters. Yeah. So, hold up. 300 yards, and this is 350 yards. $1.49, $1.49. Uh, this is 100% acrylic, and this is mercerized Egyptian cotton. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, I, I should, I got too excited. <laughs> That's what happened. So I have two of these. Look at the colors in there. How pretty that is. It's going to make a very pretty dress. In the same through thick and thin, an, another two for $1.12 each. Uh, this, Spinesse in black, $1.12, yarn B. Uh, it's just pretty. And I got, all right, so I got Halloween colors and I love this cotton. And this was full price, $3.99 each. But they were 30% off, remember? So I got two orange, two black, two white. And another thing I got full price, well, 30% off. These were normally $4.99. Um, I got this because it's, um, I love this yarn, super soft, super savings. I got it because it's like a garden colors, but I think I already have some that I have yet to use. And then finally, I got this cute little bag. It was $2.49, normally $5.99, or not, normally $4.99. So I got this cute little tote bag. How adorable is that? Okay. Now, Hobby Lobby. So I put all my, I sorted it all out for her. So I think these were $7.49 each. So they're 30% off. So these were $4.99 minus $1.50. Okay. And the $3.99 was $3.99 minus $1.20. And she charged me for nine of these. Two, four, six, eight. She charged me for nine. Uh, let's see. But they were $1.12, so I'm not worried about it. So my total at Hobby Lobby was $109.31. And then I wasn't finished. So while I was there, I met Angie from My Fairy Treasures. And uh, she is as lovely in person as she is on her channel. Uh, she is a knitter and she makes all sorts of beautiful things. Um, everything. Everything you could ever. She paints. She scrapbooks. She knits. She has dabbled in crochet. But um, she does it all. She can turn anything into anything. So she's very creative and she's lovely and hi Angie. So she um, was um, not too thrilled about our clearance sale at our Decatur Hobby Lobby. So um, she was going to take off and go to a different one. So I am excited to see what she has gotten today. All right. So then I wasn't done and... I went, I went to Walmart because I wanted to see if these are marked down to $1.49, normally $2.99 and $1.99, these threads. I wanted to see what Walmart 
sells them for because the Hobby Lobby is pretty like they're they're up there in price um in general and um I want I just wanted to see because I'm I'm like into this thread now so I went to Walmart they had like black and white that's it and it was five cents more expensive than um Hobby Lobby's regular price so the, this was normally um or $1.99. Anyway, um, Walmart was selling it for like two oh five, dollars <laughs> So I wasn't too thrilled. So I didn't get any thread there because I don't need more black and white. But I did get just basic black, white, and gray um, yarns. Okay, hold up. The last time I was at, I was shopping for yarn at Walmart the the yarn was like 5.98 it is 7 the red heart yarn is 7.48 right now that is ridiculous so i'm i'm officially done um well after the, <laughs> after this um i got black white and gray just uh two black what did i get Okay, you're gonna think I'm weird. I am weird, but all right. So I got a gray, a white, and two black. Okay, so that's fine. I also got. Oh, I was talking about these. Yeah, they're garden colored, so that's why I got these. Okay, back to reality. Okay, you know Ghostface is my boyfriend. So I got a ghost face shirt. Look at that. Ghost face. And uh, it is real gear. Real gear. And I think, I don't know how much it was. I just got excited and grabbed it. Yarn was, okay. Oh, this yarn, uh, Walmart brand is, uh, well, not mainstay is a walmart brand 298 each as opposed to 748 for red heart that was ridiculous i'm not buying that anymore if and but the only problem is walmart only makes like red white black and gray they're done they're they're, they're not making any more colors i thought maybe they were dipping into yarn making yarn or selling making their own brand and uh, we come out with more colors but they're not They've been out for like five years or more. They've been, oh my gosh. This was like before the pandemic, they came out with this stuff. So maybe like 2018. Wow, time is flying. Uh, my ghost face shirt was only $8.98. $8.98 for ghost face. My handsome, my handsome prince over here. I love him so much. And then, okay, this is why you're going to think I'm weird. Okay, so I I have my braces that I always wanted, except for the pain. This sucks. Don't do it. It hurts. But when it's not hurting, I love having my braces. They're red, white, and blue for America. So back to um, being retro. I got high top shoes from Walmart because um, I love high top shoes. I had LA Gear high top shoes in high school. And they were um, turquoise and pink. And I loved them. Actually, no, they were knockoffs. They were from Payless Shoe Source. Do you guys remember Payless Shoe Source? I don't know if they're still open. I could Google it, but I don't care enough. So um, I got seven and a half because I like to wear thick socks. And uh, I'm very, very excited. They're very nice for Walmart. And Walmart, their quality wherever they're shopping now they really stepped it up so um i'm impressed with their quality of things now these are 28 dollars. so if i had gotten like a reebok version of this that would have been 70 something dollars to start starting at 70 something dollars so um 28 dollars for this oh better yet 24.98 at walmart so i got it's andy brand and look, there's Andy right there playing some b-ball right there. 
Hi, Andy. <laughs> That's sad. What I am going to do now is I have no idea where I'm going to put any of this. I am literally out of space of, to hide. I can put stuff like, like start stacking up yarn in a corner. <laughs> oh my God, I could and put a blanket over it. Mark would never check to see what's under the blanket. Oh my God. Oh my <laughs> Okay, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start stacking this stuff up to hide it. Um, I think I'm done yarn shopping i'm putting my i'm self banning myself uh for yeah as long as i can as as long as i can because oh that's a cute little bag she has on the front look at that are they all the same they're all the same yeah so yeah i'm gonna go as long as i can um I'm thinking about opening an Etsy shop. I want to make, I want to make like one super duper creepy doll and sell one a year. I, I want to try that. Um, I think maybe if I did that, my proceeds would go to like, um, the animal foundation or something. And, um, and yarn blankets when I, uh, I use, um, the thrift store yarn that I use, I make um, animal, oh my gosh, I can't, I, I stopped being able to speak. Crochet dog blankets, I donate to shelters and animal, hot, like the vet, op, the vet's office. Uh, you might want to check with your local vet office, whether you have a dog, cat, guinea pig, it doesn't matter, uh, because they use blankets for the animals when they like um when they're under anesthesia in surgery they use blankets to keep the dogs warm the animals warm while they're in surgery and recovery and um also like in they put them in kennels when people board their dogs or cats overnight and stuff so yeah check with your local vet veterinarian office to see if they want and also old folks homes um my grandma mark's mark's grandma cutest nicest little lady um she has since passed but before she passed i sent her two or three shawls because she was always cold in the old folks home and she according to my mother-in-law um her mom wore the hell out of the shawls because well she put two away she put two away she didn't want to ruin them but um like the main one she wore 24 hours a day because it's so cold in those places so um you can call up your local old folks home or um military vet hospital you can make lap gans for the veterans um yeah just i'm i'm gonna start trying to sell stuff to make more money because i'm not working i don't i don't have a job i'm not on like assistance or anything uh, i still have my savings account but um yeah i don't need to be saving using all my money <laughs> to buy yarn so i think i want to try to open an etsy store and sell some stuff to buy more yarn eventually when I get off my yarn band I want so see how much I can I can make in two years or whatever I don't know I, I guess that's it I'm very excited about my high top shoes oh my lord <laughs> oh my lord I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna wear them with my ghost face shirt oh girl oh girl Ooh. all right well, Ghostface isn't a person. It's a mask. Michael Myers is a person in the mask, but Ghostface is a mask with a different person every time. So, um, I guess Ghostface is not my husband. 
uh, Michael Myers is my best friend's husband. So, um, I guess I just like the, yeah, I'm very sad that I broke it down, oh, man. He could still be my boyfriend. Okay, the, yeah, I'll, I'll go with Scream 1. Scream 1 is my boyfriend. I can't finish that. No spoilers, but Scream 1 is my boyfriend. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Um, yeah, it's making, I'm, I'm, I'm depressing myself. This was too much. This was way too much. That's too much. Oh, I will um, make an updated video um, on all the yarn I have used since my last video. All the thrift, thrifted yarn that I, I, when I laid it all out. Oh my god, I don't think I uploaded that video because I was not going to make videos anymore. Mm, I don't know. I'm up in the air about making videos anymore. I don't know. It, it takes me a lot of time to watch these videos, make the videos, watch the video, uh, um, edit the videos, and watching myself over and over again while I'm editing is not fun. So it's kind of not worth it for me anymore. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful everything, and perhaps I will see you on another day. Bye.